Let's face it, sometimes you want to old school it, flying straight in without them fancy helmet things or slewy hats. Then today is for you, showing you how you can fix your sights and go bomb sight, essentially hiding your shock. Then switch from automatic tracking to gun sight, labeled TS. This mode allows you to dive right in and hit whatever you're diving at. This does a few things. Firstly, it clears any ranging you had, and secondly, your cannon and Wicher pylons bore sight and won't move anymore. Thirdly, if you selected any unguided weapon pylon or activate the cannon, the Schwal bore sights to the weapon's gun sight, basically the pipper or predicted aiming point. This is different from if you kept automatic tracking on and you just selected one of the unguided weapons. Then your pipper would appear, but the Schwal doesn't automatically uncage, and if it were to uncage, it would do so in the normal fashion. So having it in gun sight mode, the Schwal actually locks to the gun sight of that particular weapon, the predicted impact point. If the cannon is selected, this gun sight is fairly high up, range for 1.1 Ks. If you deselect the cannon and select pylons with unguided weapons, the gun sight will be set for whatever the ballistic setting you dialed it to back here, also ranged for 1.1Ks. More on that in a video real soon. You can still zoom, but the schwal will float with the gun sight based on your flight and won't contrast lock, ground stabilize or inertially track or lead a moving object. The ranging laser will fire as long as you hold it, minimum one second. Once you release lock, it will recalculate your predicted gun sight impact point based on the true ranging. The more drastic the change in ranging from the default 1.1Ks or whatever you'd laced before, the further the gun sight will jump. If you want your munitions to land accurately on the location you lased, then you need to fly so the pipper or gun sight is over the target again and your rounds should land on target more or less. If you rerange after getting the adjusted gun sight on target, the pipper shouldn't move much as the change in calculation should be minuscule. Also, once you leave lock, your laser will go into a cooldown pause for the same amount of time as you held lock, during which you can't laser again. Normally with automatic tracking, you'd need to be going quite fast, maybe high, and dive bomb the target to see your CCIP reticule of the bomb. With gun sight mode, if your cannon isn't activated and you have the ballistics knob set to one of the bomb settings, the Schwal will point mostly down within a range of motion, depending on your speed, attitude, etc. I think this is also tuned for 1.1Ks, though lasing greatly helps. Just be wary if it's gone all the way down to 80 degrees. That may indicate that your predicted impact point is actually lower down than your Schwal could show you. With gun sight mode, you get the right view, though you're still unlikely to see it on the HUD because it'll be too far down. And since the Schwal zooms in minimum times seven, and you're usually not up Angels 15, the bomb sight on the screen will show the target flashing by far too quickly for you to react. So instead, if you're not dealing with a big target like a factory, set it up as a distinct feature you can see on the Abris, like saving it as a deadlink target. Maybe even info and to it on the Abris, so you get the green line pointing straight to it so you know how to fly. Now fly in using the Schwal gates on the Abris, laser ranged. That way you'll be accurate and you'll be able to guide in the gates on the GPS map essentially onto your point neighbors. And then once you get close, once that Schwal gates center starts intersecting with the center of maybe your dialing target, then you watch for it on your screen and as soon as you see something, you know, release so the bombs drop on target. This is me releasing slightly late. I'll put in the description a link to Pick and Night Banjo. We did a video on bombing. You'll see this same technique there, just within a few extensions. And after you've watched that, watch a 
link in his description of a Russian gentleman that made a more extensive technique. Just use auto translate if you need to. If I get around to it, I'll probably experiment around with some bombs, dive bombing, other techniques, see what else works and why in what situations. The gun sight may be off center for various reasons, including sight slip, wind, etc., and it will vary for every weapon. If your shawl hasn't had time to slew over to the predicted impact point when you press lock, the laser ranging will be based on whatever the shawl was looking at that second, not where your gun sight is. So just to be clear, shawl is what your camera is looking at and lasing, and the pepper or gun sight is the predicted impact point. Possibly two separate things if you haven't given them time to align. With the helmet sight, you can still hold on cage, though the shawl will wig out and try and return to gun sight, and you'll need to hold on cage the whole time. If you don't have the cannon or an unguided weapon pylon selected, then the shawl can uncage with the helmet sight or be slewed around as normal with a hat. It can laser range and guide in vickers. It still won't contrast lock, stick to the ground, or calculate lead on a moving target. This can be useful to still scout out an area or identify units in an area, laser range it and then activate unguided weapons so you fly in already having identified threats, selected appropriate pylon and you're running in with the correct ranging from the start, maybe only needing a small refinement and re-ranging as you do the final approach. This method might be most useful for strikes where you already know where the enemy formations are and you just want to keep it simple flying your shocks straight at the enemy, throwing rockets and cannon fire at them. This is Volk. Join me soon and I'll go into depth about the weapon system selector, which has similar but different effects than switching to gun sight versus automatic tracking. Enjoy.